In my last video, I tested a bunch of DPS weapons for the day one raid, but I also said that I would test Izanagi rocket in a future video, so here's the future video. For this test, I'm comboing Izanagi's burden with the Palmyra B rocket launcher, which has enhanced autoloading holster and explosive light, and then for the third weapon to use in between swaps, I have Truth Teller with autoloading holster and quick draw. I'm gonna be getting the damage numbers from this Europa Lost Sector boss, and you can see them all here side by side. I'm also assuming that the Palmyra B has wolf background, and I'm just gonna merge them into a single damage number. To execute the combo, I'm using sniper and rocket launcher dexterity mods, sniper targeting to aim down sights faster, and double rocket launcher reserves. You also have the option to save some extra special ammo before the DPS phase by using special finishers where you're going to be standing for DPS, which will give you extra honed edge shots, and you can also save extra orbs of power for extra explosive light stacks. But as a baseline, I'm just going to work with the standard 6 honed edge and 6 stacks of explosive light. I threw the grenade there to stall time for auto loading holster because Izanagi has no more ammo for a reload cancel, and then I finish off by spamming rockets. So here I have two DPS numbers. The combo DPS refers to the DPS at the point when you shoot your last Izanagi shot, and the reserves DPS is when you finish spamming the rocket at the end. For reference, this is the DPS over time graph from my last video, and this is the Izanagi Rockets DPS curve. As a side note, I want to mention that this graph makes it seem like Whisper is a lot worse than Sleeper and Reed's Regret, but that's only because I included the time it takes to activate Whispered Breathing. If you disregard the activation time, Whisper is actually pretty much on par with Sleeper and Reed's. Now, to make it easier for you to visualize the burst damage, here's the same graph, but just the first 6 seconds of DPS. You can see Parasite's colossal burst damage, and also how each weapon's own burst damage drops off. One more thing, there's a guy called Scrub who made a video where I learned all of the minor details of this combo from, I'll link it in the description below. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Peace.